You might already be familiar with template strings within JavaScript and in this short lesson, in addition to introducing them, we will look at two neat ways that you can use them within your IDE. So let's go. Here's a simple piece of code where we get this function called getPerson, get some string, store it in a person variable, and then we want to create a greeting for this particular person. Now right now we are using string concatenation, that is we are adding the string hi with the variable person followed by some additional string to create a larger greeting message. Template strings are designed for this exact use case where you want to interpolate some variable between some strings. Now the standard string literal uses single quotes or double quotes, but the template string literal uses backticks. Within a template literal, we can break into JavaScript expression mode by using dollar curly braces. Now you are free to use any JavaScript expression over here. Right now we're using this person variable. And as far as the JavaScript runtime is concerned, it will have the same value as the string concatenation. Now the modern name for this particular feature is called template literals and previously it was known as template strings. So people use these terms interchangeably. Now let's focus in on some IDE productivity features. Let's go back to the version where we had the string concatenation. Now we could convert it into a template string manually, but fortunately within VS Code, you can click this bulb icon to start a quick fix or use the keyboard shortcut command dot. And one of the quick fixes available is convert to a template string. And with this quick fix, we get a nice modern concatenation of values with strings in modern JavaScript instead of that old funky way. Now this particular quick fix only shows up when you are in the middle of a string concatenation. To demonstrate why this can be an issue, let's go to an example where we don't have any string concatenation and we just have a simple string. And now we decide that, oh, we're going to be adding the person variable in the middle of the string. Now there is no option to convert the string into a template string as a quick fix within our IDE. So we'd have to manually convert the single quotes into backticks if you wanted to use a template literal. Fortunately, all hope is not lost as there is an extension called template string converter that does this thing for us. All that we need to do is that we need to be in the middle of some string literal that is not a template literal and just use dollar curly braces and it will automatically convert whatever string we are in into a template literal. And now we can bring in our person variable quite easily and we have a nice string concatenation without having to go into pluses or opening and closing quotes. Now without the template string converter extension, some developers did start to use backticks in all places instead of the standard quotes, just in case they need a substitution in the future. But I don't think that that's a great idea because backticks normally signal that there is a substitution within the string and if there is no substitution, then it can be a bit confusing. Thanks for joining me on this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.